Okay, so for this episode from the Ed of Ed, I thought I'd show a little 3D printing project here. I have a uh, a Yamaha PSR 400 keyboard, a used keyboard that of course is missing the uh, music stand, and so this project is all about a modular 3D printed music stand. So it's basically made out of, I guess, what four different components. I have verticals, and they're all the same, repeated over again. Horizontals, We've got a, uh, long versions and short versions. And it had some little bushings to kind of level everything out. So I've got the the verticals. Uh, the, the verticals are stepped in three increments. So I got a long version with small slots, and then I have a short version with small slots. And then I have some bushings to keep everybody level to the next step. Is these guys and they come in uh, small, medium, and large slots also. And then we have the medium uh, slot guy that's short, more bushings. And then we have the medium long. And then, of course, medium on the other side. In this case, I just happen to do it symmetrical. You could do kind of any combination you want if you want to do a whole bunch of short ones and interleave them. Or maybe a long one in the center and the short ones at the end, kind of come up a wicker basket. It's it's modular, so you can kind of do any old thing you want really with it. And then that's the widest one. And then the, the idea here is you have three steps. You have um, one the widest step there medium step and a short step and it's uh, they're just repeated over and over again this is I think I don't know if it's an industry, st industry standard or not the slot that the music stand goes into it looks to be about uh, uh, was it uh, 3 sixteenths point one eight seven five I'm not sure what that is I'd have to look at my notes I guess you can measure yours and 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 do a quick measurement on the uh, solid model yeah, hopefully it's not too far off but, uh, or uh, whatever your stand is but anyhow so it's, uh, that's basically it I just assemble this guy however you feel like assembling it and then these slot together pretty tightly so I don't think they'll vibrate or anything like that if you play music really loud or something like that but um, and you know it is obviously something of a job to put this thing together the first time but if you leave it on on your keyboard, no big deal. Otherwise, I think it's a little drop of glue, and if you're satisfied with the particular geometry or style you want, and then uh, make that permanent. So, uh, large slot, medium slot. They're pretty snug, so they don't really want to come apart too readily on their own once they're in there. And it's kind of those things where maybe your printer might have a slightly different calibration from mine. They, I did oversize things by about 25 thousandths on purpose, 20, 25 thousandths, so it should be pretty consistent, but you know, if need be, you might find your machine's axis is a little, a little off in one way or the other. You might have to adjust your printing, you know, percentage by, you know, percent or something like that. It's always one of those things you have to explore these things. Um, it goes on pretty nicely, at least for mine. At least I'll, I'll mine set mine up with the, you know, those calibration blocks that you should do with uh, your 3D printer, especially from time to time, to keep things from drifting. So anyhow, there is the um, music keyboard stand. It's modular in design, at least for a Yamaha PSR 400. And so uh, stay tuned for more interesting stuff from the Ed of Ed channel. Thanks for watching.